name is Jeffrey Stephen Rafus, and um, I'm working as a stone sculptor here in Canada. Um, I'm at this location. I'm about 20 minutes from central Ottawa, Canada. Canada. Um, where, the, where my life um, began as an artist is at a very young age. Um, I exhibited my work uh, publicly um, at the age of eight in Montreal. Um, and at that time, um, I, was, I was exploring um, you, the use of macrame rope, uh, rope work on uh, on bottles, um, and uh, that's that's where I, I began publicly engaging with art. Um, I'm working as a, a as a stone sculptor now, but the story. Of, uh, of my life began at, 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 at a younger age, even before um, the, uh, the experience of showing macrame work in Montreal. Um, my, 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 my first experience, uh, my first experiences with art began at a very young age whereby in, uh, in abusive situations, I more or less reached for art as, as a way to cope, as a way to survive. Um, it, 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 uh, it begins like that, as a, uh, in my life, as a traumatic experience and as art being a way to um, more or less uh, find a way to be me and um, in, in the education system right at the beginning of the education system I, I, I was very traumatic as, um, not knowing I was dyslexic throughout my whole educational experience up until my last semester of college um, In kindergarten, in, in a Roman Catholic kindergarten, um, there was an incident where the nuns who were uh, running this school um, were uh, extremely angry at me for uh, coloring my whole top of my desk with crayons. and. Um, with uh, um, wax crayons, and um, they tied my hands with string, my two hands behind a chair, my chair, and uh, very tightly. Uh, remember this moment as vivid as this very moment now, um, and 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 they left me in the dark, alone while the rest of the students, five years old, kindergarten, uh, five, and, uh, five and six year old children at that time, uh, they left me in the dark for an hour uh, while the rest of the, the children went on to, um, to uh, have an, activ an activity. Um, and so my, uh, nobody ever really, uh, knew about that and I never really focused on that until many years later in my life when I was reflecting um, on, on my, my different points. But um, I think that as I reflected on that, it, it taught me that um, that moment moved me, moved me in a place because because I, I, I was um, isolated 
and I was um, left in the dark and my hands were tied and, and my hands were tied for creativity as a child and, um, and, 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 and as I reflect on that, um, even just speaking about it now, um, it, 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 it may have caused me to um, reach deep into my soul as, as, a, as a creator and as a human being and, and to, um, to want to hold on to that, uh, that experience in almost a, a, a rebellion or um, a fighting back way in life um, to uh, express myself as an artist and um, and uh, to uh, to uh, in a human way to uh, to want to break free because within that experience I actually broke the string and <laughs> and I uh, and I broke free of, of that and uh, and um, and. Uh, I, I, it was almost like um, I, I, I survived in a sense because I, I, I was being held as a child captive for something that I enjoyed, which was expressing myself with, with, with creativity. Um, fortunately, my mom and my grandmothers uh, within the abusiveness, early abusiveness uh, within my father, uh, my, my father ended up years later making up for the abuse um, with a lot of beautiful experiences between me, myself and him. Um, uh, but early in the game, uh, early in the life experience was quite abusive. Um, in, in addition to my stepfather, uh, and and uh, at, from the age of seven on, uh, um, abusing, abusing me, um, art became my grandmother's and my mom and their love rescued me, and art and their support of art of me as an artist became my love, became my my path, uh, an affirmation on my path. So I'm grateful to, to those experiences um, of, um, of teaching me love and of teaching me that art was a way and was, was a good way um, and, and, and that I went through the remaining education system not knowing I was dyslexic and uh, up until, um, as mentioned, up until my last semester of college, um, I had art to 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 survive because I was good at it. I was um, I was very good at it from um, from uh, the beginning, and I and I I reached for it as a way whenever I was abused, I uh, or found life difficult. I, uh, and not nobody knowing who I was or what I was as a dyslexic would have been a confusion for me all through the path. Um, but I had art to, to uh, save me, to basically save me and to uh, reach for and become who I am um, in life. So the artistic experiences that I gained throughout all of my education were great because I was good in art and the, the teachers could use my work and as, an, as a creative student, as an example for the rest of the students, um, all through the education system. Um, being diagnosed as dyslexic in my last semester 
of college happened because I was uh, I had won the most likely to most likely to succeed award, um, and I had uh, had top marks in every part of the program within a three-year um, college experience at uh, the uh, historic St. Lawrence College in uh, Cornwall, Ontario, Canada, along the banks of the St. Lawrence River. Um, I was brought into the Dean's office to, to, uh, to speak of why I couldn't pass my English communication class and be so uh, vibrant and uh, outstanding across the board in all of the other subjects. Um, so my aunt in Santa Barbara organized for uh, being an uh, a, um, adult education specialist, um, organized for me to be uh, uh, tested in Montreal at McGill uh, by uh, some, some top advanced uh, child psychologists um, with learning uh, with learning and development and uh, and uh, psychology, and so I was diagnosed with dyslexia after a full day of uh, testing, and uh, having an advanced level reasoning ability, I can re I can put together puzzles faster than they had ever experienced. Uh, so I have a visual reasoning uh, ability and an advanced. Uh, problem-solving ability, but I had a very low level of academic development. I actually learned how to write and how to talk uh, on the job uh, later on, on the job uh, working as an art director, um, presenting creative conceptual strategy to uh, major corporations um, on account uh, um, later on after college. Um, working in the field as a creative professional. Um, so I, I, I uh, am grateful because they taught me that I had a gift. Being a dyslexic, I had a gift um, and that I could use that gift within my creativity because I had an advanced level of problem-solving ability. I was able to uh, really create solutions um, in, in, a, in a good way, uh, in a beneficial way. Um, so, I, 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 where, where my, my work actually began as a sculptor is uh, years later working as an art director in, uh, in ongoing uh, patient, and in, uh, patient and physician education. Uh, developing uh, a lot of advanced level uh, creative solutions with uh, working with some of the top positions in the world um, and uh, in which I was uh, invited to study medical illustration at the University of Toronto because of my level of uh, my level of um, achievements on the job and, and I was invited by the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, um, Dr. Hollenberg at the time, uh, to, to study there without academic requirements because I, uh, I was working with physicians and they were teaching me about uh, the ana anatomical or, or uh, in the case of the mind, medical, uh, medical um, uh, strategies and, and, and medical uh, and anatomical fundamentals to, to do what I to come up with the uh, visual communication that I needed to come up with. So um, I, it was great to achieve that level on the job um, working with uh, uh, as an illustrator and a creative problem solver. Um, but uh, where, where, where I began with sculpture, is um, is doing. I I, I entered into um, exploring on the side, exploring fine art, 
and I started off with the uh, with the, um, the idea of creating Egyptian hieroglyphics for this age, and I created a whole series of works, and some of it was um, was painting, multimedia combined with sculpture, um, and, and a lot of uh, exploration into mythology now. And, and so after that, years later, I began exploring, um, um, actually for the past 17 years now, I have explored stone sculpture specifically. I tried a lot of other mediums after I decided to go out of art direction and uh, advertising, commun advertising and communications into fine art full time. I, I explored um, uh, many different mediums and I locked into stone. Stone was something absolutely phenomenal as an experience for me. Um, because stone and wood, wood led into stone, um, but um, I began with stone, be, uh, 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 studying the uh, beginning of Canadian art, beginning of art in Canada, being um, early pre-Dorset uh, stone, hand stone works uh, used for telling stories and uh, with the with the, the pre-Dorset Eskimo and and then into Inuit um, First Nations peoples, and so I, I, I began with exploring stone um, uh, based on the First Nations native uh, native philosophies, and, and uh, that's where I connected with Mother Earth. I truly began to understand the spirit of Mother Earth and, and, and how it connected to me. And I had, I, I had many dreams and visions um, as I, I worked with, uh, with these pieces of Mother Earth. I started to learn, uh, be taught by Mother Earth and be guided by Mother Earth. Um, because in stone, there's millions of years of evolution. And, and so all that energy, that life, form in the layers of stone t taught me, it, t it taught me and it brought, uh, that energy and that life brought um, the essence of life into me. And so um, uh, that, that became the works as I created them uh, one after another after another. And I went uh, from working uh, in um, Toronto for 20 years as an art director, designer, illustrator, photographer in, in, in central Toronto um, uh, to Corona, a small town, Corona, Ontario, Canada, just outside Sarnia, Ontario. Um, that's where the original initial works were created. Uh, many of them, native-based, went, in, went into um, private collections. Uh, and I, uh, I, I did a lot of trading my best stone works for um, loads of stone. So there was a, that cycle and that native sort of training and native, uh, uh, native, um, not training, but native guidance in the experience of my growth as a, as a, as a, as a, a person that was working with stone. And so today, like, like, I, 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 I have explored so much on a global level of uh, stone, not, not just stone work, but fine art and fine art and how fine art evolved uh, globally and historically. I'm not being a historian by any means. Um, mostly just the study of the creation from ancient through